this video is going to be a pure whisper. Whisper. A pure whisper video showing you my Bailey School Kids collection. Mouthful and a half a room. Let me take a sip of wine first. So, I don't know if this is all of them, but there are quite a lot, and they're going to be going in no particular order. If you enjoy whispered rambles, then keep watching. I'm not going to be tapping. Because this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Rode microphone, when it picks up my tapping, it sounds really like metallic and electronic and like, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't even know how to describe it. So I'm just going to be making this a pure whisper ramble. I'm talking about these books because... They were my favorite, my absolute favorite growing up. They're written by two different people. Uh, Debbie Dady and Marsha Jones. And they are a scary book series for like first and I read a lot of books at that age. I was always very advanced when it came to my education. Uh, sorry, I've been sick. My nose is really dry and itchy. Um, but I was always very advanced when it came to honestly everything, but especially reading and writing. And so I read a lot of books. This was probably... Okay, so I'm also filming tonight a Goosebumps book haul. There are at least 30 of them over there, so it's going to be a lot. But before I got into Goosebumps, it was the Bailey School Kids. Let me know if you read these two. So this is the Bailey School Kids. Vampires don't wear polka dots. Vampires don't wear polka dots. This is the teacher, Miss Jeepers. And the Bailey School Kids. This is the first book. And the Bailey School Kids think that she's a vampire. And you never figure out in these books. This is the only thing that bugged me when I was younger. You never figure out if she's actually a vampire or not. You just have to guess. It leaves it open to your imagination, and I hated that. I'm just trying to see here. Okay, yeah. So, this is coincidentally... Coincidentally number two, but they're not all in order. This is... Werewolves don't go to summer camp. And the little caption is, Welcome to Camp Lone Wolf and Beware. And this is where they think that their hairy camp director is a werewolf. And they have to, like, try to prove that he is or he isn't.
funny. Step. Cool. 
Victor's chemical creation brought back from the dead. And they're trying to they're trying to figure out if Dr. Victor created Frankenstein's monster.
high school and middle school, but I, I read a lot as like a little kid too. This was one of my favorites. Angels don't know karate. She's too good to be true. So this one and the first one, which is vampires don't wear polka dots, and this one were my all-time favorites. Mermaids don't run track. And it says, what is Coach Waterford's secret? Could the beautiful singing track coach with long hair really be a magical mermaid? so frustrated at the end of this one. So stay tuned.